getting on the motorcycle. There you go. And stand it up. Okay. Off the motorcycle, down, turn the handlebars. Hello internet. There's going to be a lot of wind noise in this video because I've got my windscreen all the way down. It's in the high middle 30s, middle to the high 30s. Centigrade, 82 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It is Wednesday. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I believe it is the 10th of August. In the National. I've done just over 20,000 miles on this motorcycle. Well, actually 20,928. Of happy BMW RT1250 motorcycling. Now, I've had one or two problems with the motorcycle. Mostly caused by a defective battery battery I think wasn't its best when I first got it but I had some starting issues but now I've replaced the battery with an Excite battery all my problems are a thing of the past now what I love about this motorcycle is it's so comfortable and easy to ride it's good at low speeds, good at high speeds when I bought it, the seat was extremely uncomfortable, so I changed that for a sergeant. I didn't like the handlebars, so I put risers on. The uh, foot, I put foot peg lowering kit on first of all, as I felt a bit cramped. I'm 62 years of age, but when I bought this, I was 59. And I have, uh, I've had a, a rough life, physically. So I have uh, lots of... Uh, niggling little injuries. But by and by, I couldn't be happier with this motorcycle. My wife keeps saying to me, when are you going to upgrade? And I keep saying to her, upgrade to what? There is nothing to upgrade to. The, I can get the new 1250, but I don't like the digital dashboard. So, um, the tyres that came out of the factory were for the American market with the main... Uh, it's my Cardo packed on, just kicked in. Hey Cardo, radio off. I changed the language setting on my Cardo pack talk and it uh, sometimes thinks I say radio on when I don't. That's very, very peculiar. Went from American to English, and I am English. You'd think it would know. Ah, oh, 14th of August. There is an antique fair at the race car, so I might go to that with my darling wife. Alright, so what was I saying? Oh yeah. Now, when I get my whole thoughts back, I will revisit what I was saying about my 20,000 miles of riding, or 21,000 now. Okay, so let's talk about the cost of ownership. Now this is a very expensive motorcycle to buy. It's a 20k plus bike, new. It's 20,000 pounds or 20,000 dollars. It's always a plus. In my experience of service costs, so I've had a few services, I always let the uh, dealership do it. It ain't that bad. It's a couple of, in England it's uh, it's been, each time it's been less than 300 pounds. I mean a lot of people say, well that's a lot of money. When you talk to catties, uh, it's going to be triple that. 
for Harley Davidson is going to be double that. So I'm quite happy with the cost of ownership. I don't have any chain maintenance. I do some of the maintenance myself. But mostly I'm, most of it I let done by the, uh, the dealership. Not that I can't do it, it's just I don't want to do it. So the cost of ownership, depending on how you pay for this, if you uh, get a loan and pay it off bit by bit, or you pay it out cash, which isn't the best use of money, a load is always best. Use someone else's money, keep your own money in the bank. Diverted traffic, let's try down here. Yes, I have never been here before, so this is all new to me, all right. Uh, tires, you know, I get uh, over 7,000 miles out of the tires. I got uh, 12,000 miles out of the front tire. Recently I bought a whole new set of tires. That was 350 pounds. Uh, a bit more expensive than the last time I bought tires, but everything's going up. Oh, this is a nice road, isn't it? Look at this road. I have no idea where I am. I haven't got my, uh, well, I have uh, ways running, but I don't have it uh, direction in. So cost of ownership of this bike, for someone of my age, uh, insurance is less than a couple of hundred pounds a year. That's full cover. So I can take a passenger as well. I put a few extras on it. Oh, really. When you get to my age, you uh, pay for what you can afford. Nice cost of ownership. Well, the biggest thing is tyres and maintenance. Fuel-wise, it does uh, somewhere around 40 to 50 miles a gallon, depending on where you buy your fuel. of ownership. Hey Cardo, radio off. Radio off. So 20,000 miles plus, almost 21,000 miles. How does the bike ride? Well, the motorcycle, the BMW R1250MRT with its shift cam is a pleasure to ride in every condition. Slowly it's easy to ride, fast it's easy to ride. Windy back uh, lanes, it is a little big. It's not, for some of these back roads, the um, BMW RT is not the, really the best tool for the job. But it gets it done. to go down there but if I go down there I'll lose my spine because that is one of the worst roads in Suffolk but back to the BMW RT okay it uh, because I've lowered the pegs I don't have the lean angle that uh, I would do before but I am not uh, 20 something year old who likes to go scratching. Uh, it's not the bike for that. 
but it's my everyday driver and rider. So I use it for everything. I go shopping on it, I go uh, European tours on it, I go to the coast on it, I try to avoid tractors on it. God, fuck me, that's a big tractor. The joys of uh, country living. All right. Huh. Oh, core signals. Getting on the motorcycle. There go. And stand it up. Okay, off the motorcycle, down, turn the handlebars. Okay, so here we are by the river, near Ely, doing some filming. Actually, the same battery.